I'm James. And I am Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. All right. Thursday, Friday coming up next. Followed by we have our monthly results for weight and measurements coming up right after you watch Thursday, Friday. It's Thursday. Mm -hmm. So today's been busy. For him. Well, she went to work, so she's probably more busier than me. I stayed home. We got the sliding glass door installed, and I couldn't be happier with it. We have... I went and got chicken thighs, and I sous vide them for about two hours at 165 degrees. And you have a discovery. What? What you said. About the price? Yes. All right, so <laughs> I've kind of been complaining about Tyson raising their blackened chicken to like $10 a bag. But, mm -hmm. well, I guess if I got them on sale. Okay, but normal price. Okay. Just go by normal price. Normal price. price, the chicken thighs, you actually probably, it was like $8 and change. And we got, after cooked, just a little over a pound. And they mm. offer 1.6 pounds. But, doing them this way, I think they might taste better. Mm -hmm. They're not as spicy, but I think they might taste better. Yep. They are definitely make the house a little bit smokier. Mm -hmm. But we get to control the ingredients in them. Yes. So, anyway, I guess $10 for the price of chicken at a regular price to get 1.6 pounds of cooked chicken. Right, where those are already cooked. Yeah, so, in the bag, so. so I, bought, I bought like three pounds, and by the time you cook them up, you lose half of it in water. Mm -hmm. When I sous vide them, I drain the water out, you lose half the weight. So it is what it is. But I'll still probably make them this way because why not? Right. So we're having chicken, and I'm having some of my chicken on an egg life wrap. And I'm going to use some avocado hot sauce. It's really good. Um, not the cleanest ingredients, is it? Look at all those ingredients. So I'm using mm -hmm. Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce to dip my chicken in. But what I do is, so that I'm only using a tablespoon versus just a big bunch of sauce, I got this hot, mm. hot mustard. It's called Mr. Mustard. It's very hot. It is very hot. And I mix it a lot of mustard to a little barbecue, or at least 50-50, but that makes it very hot and very wonderful. No, and, it's too hot. And mustard is basically just mustard and vinegar and <coughs> cayenne. Is that the ingredients in that? The ingredients in this are refrigerate after opening. That is not the ingredients. All right, distilled water, Mustard seeds, salt, spices, turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder. So spices. Yeah. yeah. Artificial flavoring. Uh -huh. I don't know. But anyway, it's it's got to be better than the barbecue sauce that has... This has zero carbs. This has four. Mm -hmm. This has zero carbs. And two tablespoons. So but not the cleanest ingredients, but it tastes good. I only have one tablespoon, so that's two carbs. The mustard has zero carbs. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at with that. Also, before we... I'm going to go against everything I normally do. We got keto bricks. We got this is going to mess with you so bad. Well, I heard they're not that sweet. We have okay. never had keto brick ever. And we ordered two of them. Actually, And she has a third one on the way. She has the new keto brick on the way, which yeah. is... I don't know what it's called. It's, like, it's supposed to be like an icing flavor. So this is chocolate peanut butter cup, which sounds amazing. And this is coconut cream. Which so, I love coconut, so that sounds amazing. So we'll cut this open and try it right now. Okay. But anyway, each one of these has 1,000 calories in a brick. I'm joining. 1,000 okay. calories in a brick, 92 grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, 9.6 total carbs. So it's supposed to be perfect macros. Yeah. 
So we will open these. We've never done anything with them, but I think we're going to be separating them out, right? Melting yes. it down or yes. something. So I'll just open it. Okay, so, that's so this is what we got. It, it, we got a bar of soap. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to cut it. Are we going to try both? Yes. Okay. No, James does not like anything, any kind of sweet flavor at all. Except for peanut butter. No. Before he eats. Before I eat. So this is going to mess with me a little bit. Maybe it ain't sweet. I've heard it's not. Okay. Peanut butter chocolate cup. Peanut butter cup. I think. It tastes like a chocolate bunny. Nope. Not it good. makes me think of Easter nope. candy and like a chocolate What did you bunny. say, Noah? Nope. Noah says nope. Spit it in the trash. I say, yes, please. I'll take more. I like it. It does have a different taste to it. It is salty. Mm -hmm. It is like a very heavily salted... Malt? Reese's Bunny. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Gross. I mm. get it though. It's definitely not candy. It is salty. No, but it there needs is, salt. There's a purpose for these, Noah. It needs salt. It's almost like if you dried up, maybe if you just dump keto chow powder in your mouth. Oh no. Should we try salt? It has kind of a powdery texture. Could I? And you want to try the coconut cream? Yep. I want to try putting salt on it. Why would you want a salty? It's already salty. I don't taste any salt. Let's try the coconut cream. You didn't like it. Why would you think you'd salt and it would like it? Why are you opening it like that? Yeah. Ew. Another bar of soap. Why am I scared? It smells like. It smells like soap. No, it smells nope. like coconut. I'm not trying that. It smells like coconut soap. Just cut um, one slice. I'm not trying it. No, I don't want to try it. Because I'm assuming how it smells is how it tastes. No. So here we go. Coconut cream. I don't like coconut. Either, so... That has a really good coconut flavor, like raw coconut. But You're flavor. so weird, Mom. And it got crunchy. I think it's got coconut in it. It does. Mm -hmm. Why did that one? Not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could imagine sitting and eating a whole bar for a meal. Uh-uh. We'll definitely do something with them. Why, why have... We'll melt them down. Why have coconut mm -hmm. like that? Whenever you guys can just have coconut keto free like that. Try the coconut. He's not a big coconut fan. I don't hate it. I think it's I new chocolate chip is the other flavor. That's what it's called. I don't hate it. It's gross. But it's not a treat. Definitely not a treat. I hate it. This would be something if you're hungry. It serves a purpose. It serves a purpose. It's worse than fat bombs. No, I like fat bombs better, he says. But I don't like fat bombs, that's a thing. You know, wouldn't it be weird, like, just going somewhere and, like, ah, <laughs> biting it? Like, it might. People would think you were eating soap, I think. They would look like it was eating but I soap. I like that. That looks like something I didn't do. So, anyway. We're gonna eat our chicken. Uh, it's nothing. Yeah, got our keto bricks. Mm -hmm. A little different. Um, probably have to grow to like the flavor. Or figure out how. I already to had my chicken and it tastes good. Ways. But really, I don't think it's bad. <laughs> really. Um, they are what twelve? They're about twelve. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. But free shipping. So free shipping. Maybe if they were, find them on sale. I don't know if like they do Black Fridays, but they do. It definitely. It's definitely like a meal. It's more savory. It's sweet at first, but then it then it's savory. So it's kind of hard to explain. I would not. Mm -hmm. I would not tell someone to get it, and I would not tell someone to not get it. It depends on what you want to use them for. But I know a lot of people use these to melt down and make like fat bombs out of them. Right. So that's what we're gonna do with them because eating them in that form just doesn't. 
I'm not going to eat one for a meal unless I was really hungry. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe if I went on an airplane or something and I'm, I want a snack, I could probably chew on that for a while. I don't think it's supposed to be a snack. I think it's supposed to just make you so you're not hungry. I don't think I could eat one in a sitting. <laughs> a whole one. I like the peanut butter chocolate a lot. It's like a giant fat bomb. Anyway, I don't know if you're a fan of Keto Brick or not. I'm kind of indifferent right now, but I was that way to Keto Chow too. I was that I was that way to Keto Chow in the beginning too. Keto Chow I grew to like, and just in the beginning it didn't make sense to me because it seemed expensive. But when you break down the cost and things like that, you know, five dollars for a meal is not expensive. So you know, perfect perfect macros in these. Keto I have not liked Keto Chow as far as having it as a shake. Until I tried the mint chocolate. I like keto chow. I, lo I love it for recipes. I like it in the shake form. I think it's very filling. He does. It is so filling and so good. And, you know, she likes it in ice cream. But I was always the type, even in the past, I would let my ice cream sit out for a half hour and melt. Mm -hmm. So, I love the shake. The mint chocolate shake is really good, though. That the was okay. It was very good. They're all good. Very the most. They're all good. Not a cookies and cream fan. And what I hear, peaches are very good either. I heard, yeah, I heard peaches <laughs> really bad. But anyway, that is Monday night, and we will see. Now, what day? Why did I just go back in time? This is Thursday. Don't do that. All right. That. That's that's Thursday night. We're, We're going to eat. We're going to work out. We've got to work out tonight. Yeah. It's It just seems relentless. Especially doing math homework with Noah. Yeah. For two hours. For two hours. Yeah. Talk to you later. Happy Friday. Best day of the week. Yes. Every time. All right, real quick. Mm -hmm. And then Emily can show you her pretty plate, but I'll show you my messy plate. All right, so Emily made... Keto biscuits. Emily made... Yeah, for the second time, she made almond flour biscuits. But I... This time... Instead of a biscuit, it came out more like a cookie. Yeah. So, so it's perfect. So we're using it as a bun. <laughs> Breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, so I have two pieces of ham on it. Uh, two eggs. Slices of ham. Yeah, two slices of ham. Two eggs scrambled, two pieces of cheese, and a piece of sausage. And a little bit of mayo. And... No fork required, just napkins. Yeah, and you, sausage links. And sausage links. Yeah, and of course I'm eating more than you. I have ham, egg, and cheese on my little biscuit sandwich. Two fried eggs and sausage links. So we cooked all this out on the on our griddle, our flat top griddle outside. I messed up on the biscuits. I think I did not put enough almond flour, which is fine because that's where any of the carbs come from. So if these are good, this might work for buns. They just didn't rise. Yeah. No, the batter ended up being runny. So. <laughs> All right. Kinda. Well, that's Friday. Mm -hmm. Way on Saturday coming up right now. Time for the cold hard truth. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. <laughs> We're back. And that breakfast that we had last night was so filling that we couldn't finish it. <laughs> That food is very filling. Yeah. Unlike thir Thursday night when we had chicken, an hour later we were starving. At least I was starving. Was you starving? No, but it was not as filling as like the breakfast. Like food chicken, it, it like it like fills you up, and then it's kind of like going to a Chinese restaurant. An hour later, two hours later, you're like, man, you know, and it's bedtime. Then it's like. I'm hungry. So, I was hungry all day yesterday before I had lunch. Alright. Go ahead. Let's start with me. Measurements and weight. I'll start with me. Okay. Alright, this week. If you have not watched our previous videos. You know that we went on vacation and that kind of screwed everything up. For the whole month. But, I'm proud to say that I lost a pound this week. Which, but, I'm only... Two tenths of a pound under where I was before vacation. So I'm back under and I'm back to losing. 
And that mistake is not going to happen again. Only keto vacations for us from now on. Yes. Did some damage. Did some damage. And uh, it didn't even seem like much damage, but it really stalled us for several weeks. Yeah. I am at, I was 237.4 before we left on vacation. I am now 237.2, so back under and back losing. But, so I have my results on my measurements. From April 2nd to May 1st. All right, so April 2nd, I was 45 and a quarter inches around my belly button, <coughs> waist, <laughs> and I am now 44 and a half, so I lost three quarters of an inch around that. Mm -hmm. My hips, I am 38 and a quarter inches around my hips, and I lost a half inch. I am 20 and a half around my thighs. I lost a half an inch. My chest, I am 47 and three quarter inches around my nipples. <laughs> I lost three quarters of an inch off my heart. I lost, I am now 15 inches around my calf. I lost a half inch. I am 14 and three quarter inches around my arms and I lost zero inches. And I'm down for the month. I'm only down one pound, but I'll take it because it's been a rough month. It has been a rough month. So my total inches lost were three inches. And this shirt on my on our vacation vlog, I bought two extra large Ariat shirts. One fit me, one did not. This one did not. So it even looked like a speedo. It did look like a speedo. It was tight as can be. I was like, <laughs> I cannot wear. The it's, compression I, I figured it was going to take 20 pounds to lose, or at least 10, to be able to wear this shirt. I'm down one, and because of working out and everything that we're doing, the inches, body recomposition, this shirt actually fits me just fine now. So Non-scale victories. Definitely. NSV. So, I feel great. Emily says I look great. He does. He does. I really think the working out is doing two things. I think it's recompositioning my body, mm -hmm. and I think that it's making it a little bit harder for me to lose weight because I'm converting fat into muscle. Yep. All right. You want me to read yours? Yep. All right. Emily started. Okay. This is from Latin. This is from a month ago. Emily's waist today is 40 inches. She lost zero inches. Emily's hips are 42 and a half inches. She's down one and a half inches on her hips. Mm -hmm. Emily's thighs are 21 inches around the, around the upper leg. Thigh. Yes, around the upper thigh. She's 21 inches. She lost one inch. Her chest is 39 and a quarter. She lost one inch. Around her calf. She is 15 inches. She lost a half inch around her calves. Her arms is now 12 and a quarter inches. She actually gained a quarter inch probably due to working out. She gained a quarter inch around her bicep. Yeah. And her weight is exactly what it was one month ago. Yeah. But Emily is down a total of four inches. Yes. So, so. Even, even though the scale says the same, Emily has lost four inches. Of... I'm down a pound from last week, but I was still up a pound last week. But yes. yeah, same exact weight a month ago, 178.8. But four inches down. Hmm. Always a positive. The scale is not the only, it's not the only measurement. All right, let's go to Derek. Yep. Derek this week is down one pound. Hold on just a minute. <clears throat> Derek did not do his measurements on April 2nd. So his measurements are going to be from two months ago. Two months. All right. So in two months. So this week, he's down one pound. He's down one pound. Okay. But Derek's total weight is 340, and he was 359 before. So he has lost 19 pounds. In two months. In two months. Derek lost. Derek's waist is 57. That's around the belly button. He lost one inch. Around his hips. He's 55, he lost two and a half inches. Around his thighs, he's 24 inches, he lost two inches. Mm -hmm. 
around his chest, he's 52 inches. Around the nipples, he is now, he lost three inches. Off his heart, yep. Yep, around off his heart. heart. His calves are still the same at 19 inches. Mm -hmm. His arms are 14 and a half inches around the bicep. He lost one and a half inches. Derek is down in two months, a total of 10 inches lost and 19 pounds. Awesome. So I know that's a lot of information to sum it up if you're only worried about the scale. I'm down 0.2 pounds off my all-time low and I have still 27 pounds to go to my goal. You are ahead of me in that race because I am. She is 28 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot do math in my head like you. <laughs> All right. So, and Derek is 100, I'm going to say 130 or 120. Derek, is your goal 210 or 220? Derek has headphones on. Derek, Derek has cannot headphones hear on. him. I think Derek said his goal was 220. I think so. So he's 120 pounds off his goal, and mm -hmm. he will get it. He will. Just as we will. Just as we will. So it's really, you know, I, I feel so much better. It's not so much a race to get to that goal weight as it is. It's more like enjoying the ride now. Because I don't care. If I lose a half a pound, I don't care. I'm not going to sit and say, I ain't going to oh. lie. The whole vacation thing before, I didn't even want to go because I was so worried about failing. And we did. I mean, whether you, you know, you hold water and like I said, I mean, we had ice cream, we had things that Al alcohol, we drank a little bit. I didn't drink too much, but no, I, neither one of us did. It's just still difference. It's still frustrating. You beat yourself up over. And I've heard that people actually gain weight on vacation, even just doing keto mostly because it's just a stress on your body that your body's not used to like right. all, all different sleeping schedules, eating schedules, but I'm not justifying anything because I'm back down underneath. I'm wearing a shirt that was too small while I was on vacation to wear. I, yeah. We had scotch eggs this morning. For breakfast, well, breakfast, lunch, whatever. For breakfast. Yep. Brunch. And I had a couple things written down that I wanted to talk about really quick. Okay, if I can find the notepad, there it is. He's so much better prepared than I am. Alright, so we got the new keto brick flavor. We did. The new something something. Is it Nootropic? Nootropic. That I suppose it tastes like icing? It All does. Right. All right, it does taste like icing, and I believe that it is better than the coconut cream or the peanut butter chocolate. The peanut butter cup. Chocolate peanut butter cup. Yeah, I do believe that that is the best flavor of the three that I've tried. That is mm -hmm. the best one. I agree. Now, what I don't know is, is I don't know where Keto Brick fits into my life at all. I think if I had to choose between Keto Brick or Keto Chow, I'm going to take Keto Chow. Okay. Because I would agree. if I melt them down and put them like we do our fat bombs, well, first off, there's, pro there's protein, so they serve a different purpose. These are more like meals on the go, Yeah, I think. I don't even think they're really meant to be snacks. I don't know. The, I guess they could help you up your protein if you need it. We're not educated enough. Yeah. It sounds. Right now, <laughs> I don't think the keto brick fits into what I want. I agree. I, I don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect macros. If you, if you think that, you know, you're going to replace a meal with a keto brick, by all means, that probably would do good for you. I just haven't, there's, there's probably a purpose about it. There's, there's a purpose for it, but I don't find that purpose here for me. Right now. Right now. And uh, I really just don't like them. I really just don't like the taste. I mean, nothing, I don't want to be mean. I really just don't like the taste. I feel, I feel like a fat bomb when I come in makes me, it satiates me enough to get to the next meal. Mm -hmm. and but I've heard people say that they have the keto bricks and 20 hours later they're still full. I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. It's just not. They're not for everyone. Uh, and I'm sure that. I don't think it's for me. Keto chow, yeah. I think that's for me. I like keto chow. Mm -hmm. Keto brick, it just Not so much. it just seems it just seems like a dry version of keto chow. 
That makes sense. Keto chow to me tastes better. Well, yeah. Keto chow tastes better. I think. Now, maybe you can make ice cream with keto brick. I don't know. No. I don't want to. I don't my want, my I don't thoughts want. on keto brick is just... <sighs> it's it, it just, you know, we have to try it. It's just not for me. I'm not putting it down. Somebody might love them, and a lot of people, I think, do love them. Mm -hmm. It's just not... I don't see where it's at for me now. Right. Also... Maybe in the future. Maybe not. Oh, I already talked about this. Chicken doesn't fill you up like sausage and eggs. You did. Let me show you my door. All right, the lighting will probably mess with this, which I think it is. But this door <clears throat> has the blinds that you can open, shut, or raise, built into the glass. And... Same over here. It's just a better door than what we had. This, it just allows for so much more light to come into the living room when I open the blinds and I couldn't be happier with it. It was expensive. It was a thousand dollar door. There were options that were, you know, there was an option that was a $400 door, but it was like half the weight. It didn't have the blinds. It didn't have a spot for the screen. It was flimsy, and if I decide to stay in this house for years and years to come, I'm going to regret not getting the good door that's going to keep the cold air out in the winter. So, that is our Saturday. Sorry if we've disappointed everyone with our weight loss results, but we're about to work out. We're about to upload this video. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. And we've decided that we are definitely vacations from now on. We'll be at keto conventions, wherever they may be. We'll just find one and go on vacation there. <laughs> that way there's no mistakes. Yeah, I do have a work trip at the end of the month. Which, yeah, she might have to go on the first half by herself because Noah has school. And... I'll just put this out there now. We want to go on the keto cruise next year. The only thing that will keep me from booking that keto cruise is if they say that you still have to take a COVID test before you get onto the boat. Because I don't want to go down there feeling perfectly healthy, spent the money, flew down, swabbed the nose, and come back, and they say that I have a positive. And, now and the I, reason he says this... And now I can't cruise. The, the reason he says this is because he was getting tested once a week and had COVID um, no, a, yeah. a year ago Yeah. and would have never known that he had it. So, so I'm, I'm not going to base an expensive vacation based on the fact that I get excited, I fly down, and then all of a sudden at the boat they tell me I can't get on because mm -hmm. of either a false test that's not right or that I have it and have no symptoms right so if they get rid of that rule that you have to test before right before you get on the boat you know I could see actually I can't this this does I want it to end <laughs> I'll, Over it. I'll cruise when this whole testing stuff ends and if it does then I'll we'll, we'll be on the cruise next year but as for now we are going to Kita Palooza and mm -hmm. that is all I know of this year yeah that is in September. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm going to get this thing up, hopefully before noon. Maybe. Possibly. And we are going to live our best life on a Saturday. And work out. We have to work out. Yep. That's coming up. Talk to you later.